hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is taylor simbi and if you're new you're welcome and please subscribe and if you're already subscribed but thank you so much for coming back you are the best so in today's video guys i'm going to show you how i made this simple hairband wig so let's get into the tutorial i'm going to be using these darling ombre braids uh and then i'm going to curl it so for curling i'm going to uh place the rubber band right there i'm not going to section the hair yet i'm just going to place it as it is from the pack so divide your hair into three sections like that and then i'm going to start braiding and then when i reach the ends of the braid like nearly the ends i'm going to use a flexi rod to curl the ends So these are two packs right there and then i'm going to mix pure touch conditioner with hot water and i'm going to dip my braids inside and i will leave them overnight to dry I'm going to place my wig cap on my mannequin head and then I'm going to start sewing uh, the headband right round. Guys, make sure you're using a matching thread to sew. When you are done sewing right round, just tie your thread and then use your scissors to cut it off. So right now I'm going to uh, fold my headband in half like that and then I'm going to start with the crocheting process. So right here my hair is dry, I dried it overnight, I'm just going to remove the flexi rod and then I'm going to unravel the braid like that guys. And then I'm going to uh, separate the hair and like take a smaller section we're going to be crocheting the hair in smaller pieces so separate your hair and then take a smaller piece and then uh start crocheting guys this headband we are not going to crochet like the entire wig right there on the top i'm going to crochet the perimeter like right round uh the wig cap if you haven't watched the uh my other headband wig that i did the same method i'm going to link it in the description and also pin it in the comment section so that you can go and watch that if you want like a curly headband wig so for crocheting just pass your crochet through your wig cap hook your hair then pass it through then open a loop then take your hair and pass it through the loop and tie a knot guys yeah so i'm going to show you again take your crochet then pass it through your wig cap like that then put your hair on the hook then pass it through open a loop then pass your hair through and tie a knot like that guys 
so i'm going to uh crochet like uh right round like i said before the perimeter i'm not going to crochet like the entire uh we kept right here at the top yeah so i'm just going to continue this is how this side is looking like uh so i'm just going to continue to crochet guys like uh as you see guys this crochet we kept we are going to tie it up so it's not going to show that uh the middle is not there's nothing in the middle it's not going to show all that yeah so i'm just going to continue to crochet pass your hair through like that open a loop then tie your knot So guys when you are done crocheting the perimeter this is how it should be looking like and then i'm going to crochet about five braids right there on the top so that uh it will be a guide when i'm tying like exactly where i want uh my ponytail to be yeah so i'm just going to crochet about five braids right here on the top and then i'm going to start uh taking the hair from the side covering the space that is not crocheted and i'm going to tie a ponytail right there so guys this part is optional if you want a bun you will do this guys just fold your hair like that and then tie it right here and then you flip the hair to make a bun but if you don't want a bun you don't have to do this you just have to tie your your, uh, your first ponytail and leave it like that yeah so if you want to go for a bun you can do it this way but if you don't want a bun you can just lift the hair without doing all this yeah so right there i'm just going to flip the hair and then i'm going to twist the ends like that and then i'm going to fold it under and then i'm going to use my thread to sew right there this is if you want a bun if you don't want you can skip this uh part right here so on to the next step we're going to do the bangs so just flip your uh, headband to cover the part that uh, is showing the knots right there guys. Yeah, so at the front for the bangs, I'm going to flip the part that I want my bangs right there at the front. Yeah, so just pin your headband and then I'm going to start crocheting. So I'm going to start crocheting from one eyebrow to the other. Yeah, so just crochet right here and make sure that the hair is not like uh too much unless you want your bangs to be like uh bulky yeah so i'm just going to crochet from this side all the way to the other side then come back again going on until i have enough here <laughs> After you're done crocheting your bangs, just uh, flip the uh, headband to cover 
uh, the knots right there on the bangs and then I'm going to be using my thread again my needle and thread and make sure the thread is matching the color of your headband if you are using a black one just use black thread if you are using uh, this maroon one just use a thread that is matching and the other one the other headband that I was talking about I used a nude and I also used a nude thread to sew yeah so that it will match and it won't show like where the thread is so I'm going to sew from this side all the way to the other side and then I'm going to cut my bangs When cutting your bangs guys make sure you start long that way if you do any mistakes it's easier to correct guys if you start short and you do mistakes you have to start crocheting all over again yeah so to avoid all that you have to start long and trim bit by bit until you get the length that you want right here on the bangs yeah so i'm just going to continue to trim 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 uh and then when i get the length that i want i'm going to be using mousse to uh activate the curls to make the hair flat yeah so i'm just going to trim 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 right there and when i'm satisfied with the length i'm using this olive oil mousse and then i'm just going to apply it on the hair and then i'm going to leave it to dry that way the hair will uh lay flat <laughs> So before the hair is dry just comb it to make sure that it is straight it is not tangled and then just leave it to dry guys this is so simple 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 <laughs> and you can also make this headband for kids guys yeah so when my hair is drying i'm just going to cut off the wig cap right here underneath right here that is the reason why we saw the perimeter guys so that when we cut off this wig cap right here the wig cap uh, on top it will be connected with the headband yeah so the wig cap underneath that we just cut off we won't be needing it yeah so this is how it's looking and for installation guys i have cornrows underneath and i'm just brushing my edges to the back and then you can just wear your wig and that's it guys and like i said before if you want to wear it as a bun you can go ahead and do that if you want to wear it just a ponytail uh you can also go ahead and do that guys yeah so thank you so much for watching guys thank you so much for watching and if you are new to the channel subscribe and join the family guys join the family and if you're already a subscriber thank you so much for coming back thank you so much for your support thank you so much guys please do share this tutorial it helps me a lot and like comment guys comment guys so i'll see you guys in my next tutorial thank you so much for watching goodbye